Hi guys, it's Lars Lehmann once again from Sadowski, Germany, and I'm really happy to present to you this little thing here. This is the first bass out of a new line within the Metroline series featuring a solid body, right? We've had customer requests every now and then asking for not the chambered body, which Sadowski usually does, but instead a solid body. So Roger Sadowski has been working with chambering systems for bass bodies forever in order to achieve a super lightweight. This line, however, will be a tiny little bit heavier, but uh, it's still a super light bass compared to a regular electric bass. You know, after all, it's still wood and the weight is uh, subject to change depending on the individual instrument. So far, the only wood options we have is a swamp ash body combined with a maple neck and maple fretboard, but there'll definitely be more wood options in the future. Now in the fretboard, we have 21 nickel silver frets very beautiful very shiny and you want to pay special attention to these beautifully rounded fret ball ends right and also there's no chance of any sharp fret ends sticking out of the fingerboard right because of what they call the IFT the invisible fret technology it's very very comfortable for your fretting hand at the headstock we have a Sadowski Justin at three allowing for perfect setup of the string height we have four Sadowski vintage style super light tuners, very nice and shiny. We also have a spoke wheel. So if you want to adjust the uh, the neck bow, this is going to be of great help. Now pickup wise, we have a Sadowski P style pickup and we have a Sadowski J style pickup. Uh, this one is hum canceling and they both have uh, soft touch covers. So it feels very, very comfortable for your plucking hand. We also have the legendary Sadowski onboard preamp consisting of a volume knob. We have a balance control. And with that said, if you turn it uh, clockwise, you'll have the back pickup on turn it counterclockwise, you'll have the front pickup on. This might be different to what your bass at home has, right? It's just something that Sadowski has been doing forever. We also have the VTC, the Vintage Tone Control, which serves as a passive tone blend, and it also serves as an active passive switch, right? So if I pull this thing, you're in passive mode, push, and I'm in active mode, right? And last but definitely not least, we have a two-band onboard preamp consisting of a lower ring for bass and an upper ring for treble. Okay, next up we have the Sadowski 2D bridge allowing for setup in two dimensions. And this one's a quick release, right? So you don't have to pull the whole string through the bridge. You can just use these little extra holes and boom, you're all set. Okay, back of the bass. First of all, there's this beautiful almond sunburst finish. We have four screws, so a traditional bolt-on construction, and we also have a quick access electronics compartment cover, right? So if you find yourself with a dying battery in the middle of your live set, you can either pull the VTC and keep playing in passive mode, or you can just in between two songs open this little uh, compartment just by clicking here and here and change your battery and you're ready to go. Oh, and talking about almond burst, this one is, I mean, to my eyes, it's, it's super beautiful, but if this is not your thing, we have a ton of other options for you to check out. So in this demo, I'm gonna show you the four string version first, and later on, we're also gonna take a look at the five string version, so. Stick with us. Okay, playing examples. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna be using a Warwick Gnome iPro 600, which is a fantastic super light amp, along with a Warwick Gnome 2x10, as well as a Gnome 115 cap. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna start out with the four string bass. I'm also gonna start out in passive mode just to show you the natural sound of the instrument. I have both pickups on. VTC is pulled, right? Cause I'm in uh, passive mode, obviously. And it's, it's yet full up. So this is the basic sound of the bass. And check out this amazing evenness. <laughs> All right.
right, now I'm in active mode. This is both pickups. Uh, VTC is full up, a treble is at about 20% and bass is at uh, 10%. <laughs> Okay, here's the same groove with the back pickup. And with the front pickup. Okay, here's some slapping for you. With both pickups on, I have bass and treble both at about 35%, and I've also tamed the top end with the help of the VTC, it's about 80%, right? Here we go. Okay, here's some cool P bass vibes with the front pickup. VTC is at about 60%, treble is at about 35%, and bass is at about 20%. I'm back and I have now the five string version of this beautiful instrument. Let's check out the B string first, okay? Because I'm sure you wanna know how it sounds. I have both pickups on, VTC is full up and bass and treble are at about, I'd say 50%, okay? <laughs> Okay, here's a little plectrum groove showcasing the front pickup, okay? As well as the B string. Okay, here's a little finger groove for you. I have both pickups on. VTC is at about 70%, treble is at 50%, and bass is pretty much up at, I'd say, 70%. Okay guys, that's pretty much it. This is the new line of hybrid PJ basses featuring solid bodies within the Sadowski Metroline series, right? Amazing instruments, they play great, they sound great, they're still super light, you definitely want to check them out. If you like what you saw and heard, please hit the like and subscribe buttons, hit the bell for notifications on new videos, feel free to leave us a comment. That's it from me, I'm Lars and I hope to see you next time, bye bye. Thank you.